is a normal healthy female reproductive system. And this is a reproductive system suffering from endometriosis. Endometriosis is a disorder identified by the presence of endometrial-like tissue in an ectopic location mainly around the ovaries, fallopian tubes, and tissues around the uterus and ovaries, but can occur in other parts of the body. About 20 to 25 percent of the women with endometriosis are asymptomatic. For those who experience symptoms, this complex condition is characterized by pain and infertility. Because the ectopic endometrial tissue responds to the hormonal stimulation, it undergoes a cyclic growth and shedding, like it would, in the uterus. If it is not cleared by the circulatory, lymphatic or the immune system, it causes an internal accumulation of blood which leads to swelling. This triggers inflammation with the activation of cytokines, which now leads to pain. Pain can also be caused by adhesions caused by the inflammation of these tissues. The adhesions can bind together organs like the uterus, ovaries and the bladder, pulling nerves within the tied down organs, causing pain. This type of pain can occur throughout the menstrual cycle, not just the menstrual periods. Endometriotic lesions can also develop their own nerve supply, creating a direct two-way interaction between the central nervous system and the lesions. They can potentially produce their own characteristic pain that can be independent of the disease. Infertility occurs in up to half of the women with endometriosis and can be due to tissue overgrowth around the ovaries, which can prevent an egg from entering the fallopian tubes, preventing ovulation from occurring. The tissue can also form inside the fallopian tubes, which can then prevent the egg and sperm from meeting. Other than that, endometrial cysts produce chemicals and other substances, which have been linked to lower the density of ovarian follicles from which mature eggs are released. In some cases, endometriosis can make intercourse painful, especially during ovulation, which can also become a barrier for conception. The exact cause of endometriosis is unknown, but one of the main theories for formation of ectopic endometrium-like tissue is that during menstruation, blood with endometrial tissue flows back into the fallopian tubes and into the peritoneal cavity, attaching itself to the lining of the abdominal cavity, transforming into endometriosis. Other theories include genetics, immunology, stem cell migration, etc. Endometriosis cannot be diagnosed through blood tests, only through laparoscopy and imaging techniques. As there is no cure for endometriosis, treatment to relieve symptoms can be done through medication, hormone therapy to slow growth of the endometrial tissue and surgery. However, for most women, it can recede on its own with menopause. Some can also get relief from the condition during pregnancy and about one-third of the women with mild endometriosis may find that the symptoms resolving on their own.